Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about future DLC and post-launch content here in Modern Warfare. As of right now, we do know that the future DLC is going to be free for everyone, so that's good. There is going to be no Seasons Pass that you have to purchase in order to play on like the new multiplayer maps or maybe even Spec Op missions. So that's good news, right? We've known this for a little while now. Now, of course, they specifically said there's not going to be a tradition seasons pass now I don't know if they're hinting at there is going to be some other non-traditional seasons pass that we can buy but I I really hope that's not the case I'm just hoping crossing my fingers they are not going to introduce some other type of seasons pass or something like that maybe they'll come out with a seasons pass that gives you access to like 99% of all microtransactions if that's the case then I'll probably buy it to be completely honest with you just because I'm someone who doesn't actually buy microtransactions in the first place I don't buy cod points but if there is some sort of seasons pass where it gives you access to pretty much all the microtransactions, then I'll probably end up buying it. But I just, as long as they don't like price it to like a hundred dollars or something like that, then that might be a different story. But anyway, so yes, post launch content is going to be free here in Modern Warfare. But just recently, Charlie Intel tweeted out saying that all future maps and modes that are coming into Modern Warfare, not only will they be free, of course, but they'll be coming out at the same time on all the platforms so this is something we have not seen before in the call of duty series at least for 12 years i guess i can't remember really the last time this this was actually a thing in call of duty so when we get a new multiplayer map here in the game it'll actually be coming out the same time on all the platforms playstation or whoever is going to have the exclusivity deal which actually is playstation they actually won't be able to get any of that content first xbox and pc users will be getting at the same time as well which is absolutely awesome because this is something that I think everybody has been asking for for a very long time now nobody likes the exclusivity deals that Activision has with PlayStation it's just very unfair to like the community especially for me because I play on Xbox but anyway I think this is awesome I think a lot of people are happy about this now they did only said maps and modes and more so I'm not sure what classifies as more so I'm assuming when new weapons come to the game that they're going to be coming at the same time for all platforms but then again I could be wrong because PlayStation does still have some exclusivity deal with Activision right now and with the post that Activision and Infinity Ward actually put out regarding the multiplayer maps and modes coming at the same time for all platforms, they also kind of specifically said something that was very vague, and it was regarding to the first day of when this game comes out that PlayStation is going to have an advantage of, and we don't really know what that is at the moment. So I guess on day one, when Modern Warfare comes out, PlayStation members will have exclusive access to something, and we just are not entirely sure what that is yet some people think it's going to be double xp or double weapon xp or maybe both at the same time and if that's the case then i'm a little bit jealous because leveling up fast means you can unlock new guns faster you can unlock your attachments faster and all that kind of crazy stuff uh so that means us xbox and pc users will be like not uh, up to speed as what playstation people are unlocking so that's a possibility but even if it is just double xp or double weapon xp i'm not going to be completely upset about about that because it's not like it's a new weapon that's being launched for only PlayStation members or something like that, right? So that's something I'm not too like worried about. Um, I'm not entirely sure what they could probably introduce day one. I know there was another uh, thing that people kind of brought up, an idea is that maybe the day one content or the day one launch for Modern Warfare PlayStation members might be able to play the game one day early. I can see why a lot of people be upset about that, but I I don't know if I'd be upset about that anyway because there's going to be a bunch of YouTubers and stuff like that who are going to have access to playing the game early anyway, so it's not like I can make YouTube videos ahead of time anyway, so I'm not too mad about that either if that was the case. So I'm not entirely sure what the day one uh, exclusive deal is going to be with PlayStation. What, what advantage do PlayStation members have that us Xbox users and even PC users are not going to have on day one? I'm very curious about that, but the whole point of this 
this video is just to let you know that future DLC is free and that the maps and modes and more, whatever that entails, will also be coming out at the same time for all platforms, which is very good news to me and I really hope you guys think that's good news as well. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure you guys leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel for more Modern Warfare content in the future like actual gameplay because I'm going to be able to have access to the beta on my Xbox and be able to show off gameplay for you guys so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and stay tuned for that and anyway that's it for the video and I shall catch you guys later.